Hello, good people. Welcome back to my channel. It's nice to have you here. And if you're new, my name is Amma Chang and I cover travel, business, and lifestyle. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified for amazing content. So for starters, I am not a doctor, nor do I work in the medical field. I am simply a curious traveler who's trying to be safe and trying to let you, my subscribers, and anybody who's watching this video to be safe as well. So unless you've been living in a cave or out of space, but wait, even aliens are shading us right now. Um, you must be aware of the highly infectious corona disease, aka COVID-19. As much as I'm not a medical expert, I can assure you it is a very infectious, highly infectious disease. And we all need to be very careful and stay safe, not only for ourselves, but people around us as well. I wouldn't get much into the detail of things, but ways to stay safe is definitely to wash hands regularly, sanitize, avoid crowded places, self-isolate, so it's very important to keep this in mind and i'll provide a link of who below it's also very important to be accurately informed as of now there's so many things speculations news that are going around so it's very important to be accurately informed about this and if you feel any type of conditions such as uh, fever, difficulties of breathing, flu, it's important to consult your doctor earlier on in order to see if it's indeed the coronavirus and get your treatment if so. I'm assuming if you're watching this, then you're a traveler or you're an aspiring traveler or just somebody who's interested in, in traveling. Now, I didn't think the day would come where I would advise this but if you are planning to travel during this time don't i repeat don't unless it's very necessary and the reason i say this because it's not only risky for yourself but it's definitely risky for people around you but then again if it's really necessary for you to travel at this time with what's going on it's important to understand that there's so much uncertainty around the situation which is affecting different sectors such as the airline hotels so it's very important to look into things before you travel not only your health but also the country that you're going for example today emirates have suspended the passenger flights so they'll only be proceeding with cargo flights till when the situation is a little bit more safer so there are so many things so many aspects to look into we're also seeing different countries putting up regulations in order to contain the disease so for example i'm from tanzania and um, there's been an official communication that any person traveling from a risky country so a risky country would be a country with plenty confirmed cases and they've already been identified and these are the likes of china europe us etc if you're flying in from any of these countries you are mandatory required to be quarantined for not less than 14 days at your own expense we also have countries like uganda that are currently banning any tourists from coming in and this is all in an effort to just contain the disease and from it to further spread and i think me and you should definitely um, be supportive of this effort of different countries in order to get past this crisis. So what's next for the traveler? I seriously don't know and I don't think anybody would because there is no cure as of now. But I urgently request you to definitely stay safe, not only for yourself, but for everybody around you let's avoid crowded places let's wash our hands let's keep on praying and hoping and let's just keep on packing that bag for the time when there'll be a better day for us thank you for tuning in the show must go on despite everything that's happening and see you all next time bye